In this tutorial, we will talk about callback. Callback is a function of the type callable. Callables are anything which you can call as callback. There are various ways you can implement a callback using anonymous function, standard PHP functions, static classes, non-static classes, specific object or class methods, or you can also call object themselves as long as the object is found. Now let's take an example and understand how callback function work. Now to understand how standard function can be called using a callback function, I'm going to just create here a function and in this function, I'm going to just echo delitution. And to call this function, I'm going to just call here a callback function, call user function. And in the parenthesis of this function, I'm going to just call my function name. So in the single code, I'm going to just pass an argument, any functions. Now let's see how you can call a static function using this callback functions. So I'm going to create here a simple class. And in this class, I'm going to create a static function. And in this method, I'm going to just echo daily tuition. And just out of that, I'm going to just say here, call user function, I'm going to pass an argument. So in this function, I'm going to just call array. And in the array, I'm going to pass my class. So this is the name of the class and then specify this static method. So once you call this function, this will just echo this message. Now there is one more way you can call this static method. We just need to call call user function. You just need to pass here a square bracket and in the square bracket, you just need to pass a class name and the static method name. Now as per PHP 5.2, you can call this a static method without this array as well. So you just need to call here a function and in the parenthesis, you just need to pass my class double colon and then specify the method name which you want to call. Now you can also use callback function with object. So you just need to create an object, just call call user function and in the parenthesis of this function, you just need to call an array and in the parenthesis of this array, you will just pass an object and the static function name. Now you can also use this callback function with this variable as well. So here I'm going to just create a my class and in this class, I'm going to create a public property and specify value to it, hello world. And just out of that, I'm going to create a public function. And in this function, I'm going to just call a callback function with an array. And in this array, I'm going to pass this and call my callback method. And then I'm going to create a new public function, my callback method. And I'm going to just say here, echo this property. So I'm going to just echo this message using the callback. So when you execute this PHP script, you're going to get this hello world message. The PHP callback function will save your time and the code lines. If you like short videos like this, make sure you subscribe and press the like button. I will see you in the next one.